Tonight on Beyond the Game, we have Matthew Pig and Hunter Shamlin from Walker Valley, and from Cleveland High School, Kayla Beaches and Nathaniel Parker. And with your host, Trip Stores, this is Beyond the Game. Welcome to Beyond the Game. Tonight we have Walker Valley and Cleveland. From Walker Valley, we have Hunter Shamblin and Matthew Pig. And from Cleveland, we have Alan Sweatman and Kayla Beaches. Tonight, we're going to talk about the game tomorrow. What can I get for score predictions from you guys? All right, I'm going to go with a blowout once again. Mustangs are going to win it 28-3. to three. You know, I'm going with the more you know, logical score other than Hunter over here. You know, 38-24. 30, Cleveland? I'm going to go with my boy Torin Beck leading us to a victory in a 31-28 uh, to 28 ball game with Cleveland up on top. I'm going to go 35-7 Cleveland. Only touchdown scored by Walker Valley is going to be scored by Alex King. We're going to shut Colton Gibson down. Oh, there's no way. And <laughs> that's, no way. that's the way it's going to go. So, okay. Okay, so I'm asked for key players, but, I mean, you said it's going to be the kicker, so let's hear from Walker Valley. What do you all think? First of all, Colton Gibson is the best quarterback in the state, hands down. The man, you look at all the websites. The man's like in the top ten of all the websites. The dude is a stud. He's D1 bound. Colton Gibson's key player. Alex King, Cooper Mill. Question. What about Cole Copeland? What about Cole Copeland? Gibson is the best quarterback in the state, better than Copeland. I don't care who you put up for Gibson. I don't care if you put up one of Cleveland's 15 quarterbacks. What are you all down to now, like the 15th? Fourth. Spring? Fourth. Fourth, thank spring. you. Fourth. Colton is better than all of them put together. He's a stud. Matthew? Uh, you know, Colton, he's a, he's a really good player. He's got Bryce on the side of the ball, too. You know, an underrated player, I think, is Zach Hesslinger Most on the definitely. defensive side of the ball. You know, he's a great, great defensive back, and, you know, I think he'll have some impact on this game late. Cleveland? Well, obviously, we're down three quarterbacks, so Skylar Davis had to move from being an all-state receiver to now being our starting quarterback. And um, he's going to have to have a great game. And he had a great game last week, first showing at quarterback. And he's our number one. And uh, he's got to have a good game tomorrow. I 100% agree with Caleb. I think Skyler has got to play good for us to win the ball game. And, of course, I said Torn. I think Torn's back, our kicker, is going to come in big with a field goal. And then Michaelius Elder, he is – probably going to be the fastest guy on the field at all point in times, mm -hmm. and he is electric. He can make something out of nothing. He's not faster than Tucker Mead at all. There's no way. <laughs> oh, Lord. I Mead think he's the fastest the kid fastest, on the field at all times. He's the fastest player on the field. Michaela, you sit that boy down real quick. There's no way. Mendenhall <laughs> is definitely the fastest player out there. He's a dual threat. I mean, he, he plays threat. a wide receiver, wide receiver position, but, you know, he can throw passes also. You know, he's a dual threat. They just don't know, do they, Alan? Mm -hmm. They don't. Michaela Solder is lightning. Oh, that's there is no way. First of all, look at the Mustang defense. You've got the best defensive coordinator in the nation, Scotty Smith. All right, we're gonna go to commercial break. Just trying to get. <laughs> I've been trying to get you shut. <laughs> Time for a home improvement. Need to consolidate some debt. Want to talk face-to-face -face with a local lender about the options available to you? If you answered yes, then it's time to contact the financial professionals at Andrew Johnson Bank and talk to them about a home equity loan. There are no closing costs for those who qualify and low interest rates based on credit. Andrew Johnson Bank, the local lender you need, the local bank you can trust. Are you in the market to purchase a new home or build your own? Is it time to refinance your current home loan? Want to talk face-to-face -face with a local lender about the options available to you? If you answered yes, then it's time to contact the financial professionals at Andrew Johnson Bank. Stop by today to speak with one of our mortgage specialists and see if you qualify for one of our many home loan options and low interest rates. Andrew Johnson Bank. The local lender you need. The local bank you can trust.
Time for a home improvement? Need to consolidate some debt? Want to talk face-to-face -face with a local lender about the options available to you? If you answered yes, then it's time to contact the financial professionals at Andrew Johnson Bank and talk to them about a home equity loan. There are no closing costs for those who qualify and low interest rates based on credit. Andrew Johnson Bank, the local lender you need, the local bank you can trust. Are you in the market to purchase a new home or build your own? Is it time to refinance your current home loan? Want to talk face to face with a local lender about the options available to you? If you answered yes, then it's time to contact the financial professionals at Andrew Johnson Bank. Stop by today to speak with one of our mortgage specialists and see if you qualify for one of our many home loan options and low interest rates. Andrew Johnson Bank, the local lender you need. The Time for a home improvement? Need to consolidate some debt? Want to talk face-to-face -face with a local lender about the options available to you? If you answered yes, then it's time to contact the financial professionals at Andrew Johnson Bank and talk to them about a home equity loan. There are no closing costs for those who qualify and low interest rates based on credit. Andrew Johnson Bank, the local lender you need the local bank you can trust. We're back with Beyond the Game. Cleveland, you know, they're talking about, you know, what string are y'all on for quarterback? You know, who do y'all have playing quarterback? You know, how's he, how do you think he's going to do? Well, Scholar Davis is playing quarterback for us. Um, he's stepped up really big in the last game against Signal Mountain. I don't think Signal Mountain was as quality of an opponent as Walker Valley is going to be. But I think he can step up. You gotta respect him for taking, getting out of his position that he mm -hmm. wants to play at the next level, and he's putting the team first, playing quarterback. What was the score of that game? Thirty-eight zero. Do you have any like stats on him or anything? No, but he ran the offense. From what I could tell, he ran the offense like he's been playing quarterback a long time. All the guys are allied behind him. They support him, and he leads the team just as good as anybody else. Walker Valley, how do you think this quarterback situation will affect the game? First of all, QB1 played like garbage at the beginning of the year. QB2, garbage. Three, garbage. Four, garbage. The Stangs are coming in, and we're coming in hot. We're going to shut it down. We could shut down. I don't care if you bring back Peyton Manning in his prime. The Mustang defense is ready for the Raiders. They are. Yeah, we got uh, Skylar or Skylar Swafford on the side of the defense, and, you know, he had a uh, record-breaking season last year with 150-something tackles. You know, he's a great player, a senior this year. We're going to miss him a lot. Um, Sam Gibson, a quality kicker, you know, he'll, he'll influence the you game can't, a lot. You can't forget about Isaiah Austin. You run it to the man's side, it's a sack. You throw it to the man's side, he's going to bat it down. Listen, the whole Bradley game, every game I've watched, they're running away from Isaiah. So if I'm Cleveland, I'm sitting here thinking, you got a triple team, Isaiah, or the man's going to tear it up. I watched him in practice, watched him in the games. The man is an animal. He can't be stopped. When big number 32 is coming, you better listen because he's about to eat some cornbread. Well... Uh. My thing on Isaiah Austin, I remember watching him in middle school at Ocoee, and I've watched him a little bit this past year. He's slow. He's slow. He's he's the he's, most. He might be the most athletic person out there. Caleb. He's lazy, Come on. man. He's, he's not, lazy. I've watched him play. The man is no, lazy. The boy, lazy. the boy is lazy. No, he is a man. If I've ever seen a man, Isaiah is a man above boys. He's going to come out there. I wouldn't be surprised if he comes out with at least. 15 tackles tomorrow night. Skylar Davis and Michaelius Elder are going to break no that big There's, boy's you know, ankles tomorrow night. Really Son, really I don't know why y'all think that, it, no, that it's the same thing. It it's easy, always bro. been it's always been Cleveland, Bradley, Walker Valley, it. and it's going to stay Walker Valley at the bottom every there year. No every year. They're the little sister. So the top, did the top change, though? 
What are you talking about? You're, the, Bradley you're on the announcer. Now? Walker <laughs> Valley. Walker Valley will always be Cleveland and Bradley's little let sister. Let me tell you something about the Mustangs. First of all, we swept their butts in baseball last year. We're going to sweep them this year. We're going to whip up on them this year in football. Let me tell you something. Walker Valley over Cleveland every year, every sport, it doesn't matter. The Stangs are better all around in every category. You know, we have a quality coach, too, and uh, Coach Ryan, you know, he's he's uh, he's been here with us for a while, and, you know, we didn't have that great of a season last year. You know? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> still beat Cleveland in the rain. Yeah, we still beat Cleveland. Play, I we, hey, did game. we make the playoffs? Oh, we I did. think we did. I don't we think did. Walker Valley did. We did. Playoffs? Playoffs. Playoffs. Uh, playoffs. <laughs> yeah. Playoffs. Uh, call the playoffs card. I respect that. I respect, I that. respect that. But, you know, you got to look at who Cleveland played last year. <laughs> Nobody. Cleveland never plays anybody. They beat up on Signal Mountain. They bring in. They bring. Listen, what they do. Cleveland is just about as bad as the balls when it comes to this. They bring in about ten tune-up games a year. It seems like all their games are tune-ups, except for the district and the region games they have to play in. It's ridiculous. Number five, Sevier County. I mean, it's ridiculous. Have y'all not listen started out the last like three seasons with Hickson and somebody? Hickson's Tyner, I think, I think y'all. Hickson and Tyner. Tyner. And you Tyner. know what? It doesn't matter who oh, we man. put up against. Tyner. Tyner, Tyner wasn't that good of a competition, you know. We it was homecoming, guy. Come in. on. It was, hey, we were coming rest, up a lot of hey man, it's we good. Y'all, 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 y'all always gonna be a little sister. The rest of your schedule looks like a homecoming night. That's what it looks like. Scrub teams. All right, let's talk about student sections. What's the theme? What do you think the turnout's gonna look like? Our student section theme is a beach theme. Um, I think it's gonna be a big turnout. We're all carpooling from the high school and we're going to get as many people as possible to Walker Valley, and we're going to be really loud. We hate Walker Valley at Cleveland <laughs> High School. We hate them. It's not as bad as Bradley, but everybody's going to come out and watch the Blue Raiders whip up on some Mustangs. So I expect a big turnout. I'll also admit we, we, we hate Cleveland. We're not as much as Bradley. I don't think anybody could hate any other school as much as Bradley. That's know, true. They're trash. That's yes, true. That's accurate. Let me, so let me tell you something. When you step into the corral on a Friday night, you got Coach Ryan, you got the best coaching staff in the nation under Coach Ryan. You've got one of the most athletic teams of any team there is. When you step into the corral, you better be ready because the Stangs are about to yeah. stomp some Blue Raiders tomorrow, hands down. You know, we talk about best coaching staff in the nation. I think, I think Coach Cummings and Coach Day, they've got a couple state titles under their belt. They do. No, I don't. They do. I don't think. I don't Some think. I don't think Glenn Ryan, no matter where he's been, he's got he's got mm -hmm. numbers. Coach what Scott Cummings has. Besides uh, wrestling, three Pete, 94, <laughs> 94, 95, 93, 94, 95. I don't think Walker Valley is. How long? How long I don't think. Walker, I don't think Walker Valley had one. Fifteen years. That was back before our dads were born. Come on now. Long time ago. All I'm saying, the won. last Davis to play quarterback <laughs> led our team Come to a on, state Caleb. title. Listen, listen, the man. last Davis to play quarterback led our team to a state title. We got Davis in at quarterback right now. If we were, and big things coming, Mr. Shamlin. Y'all are talking about your record back when we played with leather helmets and no pads. <laughs> that was 100 years ago, bro. We're in the future. The, the Mustangs are the future. The Cleveland wearing their Cleveland leather helmet wearing teams of the old or the past. But the Mustangs are the future. How long have I heard that? How long have I heard, man? Man, Walker Valley's about like Tennessee, man. Finally, we're rebuilt. We're building a program brick by brick. Yeah, whatever. It's been 20 years or 15 years, however long. When's it? When's it going to be? The Mustangs. The Mustangs are ready for the Raiders. Film after film, we've watched film, we've gotten ready, we've prepared. You go watch one of our practices. Our coaching staff prepares our players better than any other coaching staff there is. The Mustangs are ready. Throw whatever you got to throw against them. Hey, we're ready. The Mustangs are going to win. And Colton Gibson, he's a dual threat. He's just going to oh, expose Cleveland's defense I mean, tomorrow night. Colton Gibson will expose Cleveland. He will pick them apart piece by piece. You try to stop the passing, he's going to run it. You try to stop the running, he's going to pass it. The man has an arm like Joe Flacco, baby. He does. The best arm in the country. Now, I'll, I'll give it to you guys. You got Darius Williams, a quality wide receiver coming in. You know, he's looking at coming to Walker, but, you know. Uh, he made, he made the right choice. Don't but, worry about it. But, you know, all that matters is that 
We have the best receiving core in the nation. Oh, God. So, we're talking about your receiving core. What, you know, side of the field wins you the game tomorrow? Well, I think our defense, I don't think Walker Valley is going to be able to move the ball like they, like these fellas think that they are. I mean, they've got great athletes in Bryce Nunley and Alex King fast, and they hit hard, man. But our corners, Raekwon Dodd and Logan Stutzman, is my sleeper pick for this week to have a big game. They're going to shut Colton Gibson down. There's not a doubt in my mind. There's not a doubt in my mind. My boy Raekwon is going to shut Colton Gibson down, just like the corners that Bradley did, just like the corners that McMinn did. Who else? You name them. They shut Colton Gibson down. I also want to make a point that, yes, Walker Valley, y'all have great athletes on the outside. Thank you, Alan. But, man. however, the offensive line game oh, is – Oh, it, it you, it's you, weak. you can't, yeah, y'all can't weak. tell me oh, that boy, on. that boy Chris we're Ogle. About, we're talking about offensive line. Cleveland has the weakest offensive line I've ever seen. Do you know who Wait. Chris Ogle is? Wait. Chris Ogle is a player. He's an athlete. He's What's not an athlete. Y'all? y'all got a bunch of dang cake eaters and bus riders over there at Cleveland. The Mustangs have athletes, baby. You know, uh, Colton, just back to Colton again. The dang, the whole daggum team revolves around Colton Gibson. We're gonna, yeah, we're Colton gonna, Gibson. we're gonna shut Colton Gibson, Gibson down, Gibson and then we're gonna win by a hundred points. It sounds like. Win. Put the, put the dang Tennessee balls or the Alabama. Put Alabama's defense out there. Like Colton's gonna pick them <laughs> apart. I don't care who it is. Gibson is the man. He's the man. You brought up coaches earlier. Who do you, who would you say is your favorite coach? Oh, uh, Cleveland. Well. Personally, I like Coach Kevin Day. He's the uh, offensive line coach. He played ball at Carson Newman. But um, Coach Cummins, man, the head coach, I mean, his record speaks for itself, what he did at Knox West and how he's been able to turn. How many rings program. do you have at Knox West? Uh, I think two. Two? I okay. might be wrong, but I think two. You have to look at the time and, that he was playing with them. And I think. Who's he playing? Here it is. The, no. They beat, well, they beat the, the same division as Cleveland and Walker Valley, and they ended up beating all them. So, I mean, it's just something. But he's, I mean, his record speaks for itself. He's a good coach. He calls our offense is a tricky offense, but he knows how to use it. And there's no way Walker Valley is going to be able to stop it tomorrow night. Well, Coach Cummings, he has adjusted extremely well to the quarterback situation. Mm -hmm. Um, The fact that we're able to run our offense in a completely different uh, formation, but still have the same basics of like fundamentals on the offense, I think he's done a fantastic job, and I think Coach Kevin Day is has also done a fantastic job. He's got him in the weight room. He might be one of the best weightlifting coaches mm-hmm. in the state of Tennessee. Nobody works harder than our coaching staff, I can promise you that. Well, my favorite coach is definitely going to be the Joe Shamblin. He is the man. <laughs> Joe Shamblin is the Steve Spurrier of high school football. Let me tell you something. You want to talk about tricky offense? Joe Shamblin can put together a tricky offense better than anybody I've ever seen. We've got excellent coaching staffs. You know, I got to give a shout out to my man. Are you in any relation to? Joe yeah, he's my dad. But you know what? He's still a stud. The man knows how to beat the Raiders in baseball. He knows how to beat them in football. Heck, you put him in water polo and field hockey, and he'll beat them in that too, baby. Ping pong team, table tennis, whatever. We'll be right back after these short messages. Time for a home improvement? Need to consolidate some debt? Want to talk face-to-face with a local lender about the options available to you? If you answered yes, then it's time to contact the financial professionals at Andrew Johnson Bank and talk to them about a home equity loan. There are no closing costs for those who qualify and low interest rates based on credit. Andrew Johnson Bank, the local lender you need the local bank you can trust. Are you in the market to purchase a new home or build your own? Is it time to refinance your current home loan? Want to talk face-to-face with a local lender about the options available to you? 
If you answered yes, then it's time to contact the financial professionals at Andrew Johnson Bank. Stop by today to speak with one of our mortgage specialists and see if you qualify for one of our many home loan options and low interest rates. Andrew Johnson Bank, the local lender you need, the local bank you can trust. We're back with Beyond the Game. So, um, y'all obviously love y'all schools. What makes y'all love y'all school as much as you do? Yeah. I love Cleveland High School with everything in me. Uh, especially being one of the student section leaders, it has brought a new aspect to Cleveland High School. And getting to know personally the administration and how great they are and how much they love Cleveland High School themselves, it's just, it's inspiring and it makes me love Cleveland High School more and more each and every day. That camp out seemed pretty cool. It was fantastic. Was it? Was Did you like camp. burning bears? I'm a fan <laughs> of it, yeah. Um, well, I went to Bradley my freshman year, and I switched over to Cleveland. And um, there's nothing like being a Blue Raider. Nothing like it. I mean, we're just such, we're like we're a family over there. I mean, it's a tight knit group. Admit, the administration cares about all of us. The Everybody coaches, has their fit. The coaches care about all of us. And there's no other place I'd rather be than Cleveland High School. What about? First of all, I've got to shout out my boy Alan Sweatman. <laughs> Hey, we're trash talking it up today, but the man qualified for state. Our golf team did too. You know, I got to shout out a couple of my buddies here Parker, Cade, all you guys on the golf team, Jack, hey, Nick, and the rest of you. Heck of a job. Heck of a job, Alan. You, know, you guys deserve it. Thank you. Hey, Marty Walker would be proud of the way you boys play golf. Joe Marco, many of them. Y'all are great golfers, boys. But what we love most about Walker Valley, well, first of all, Best cafeteria food ever. I ate some dang good enchiladas in there today. But listen, the Mustangs, like y'all said, the administration cares about everybody. The teachers care about everybody. You know, we all get fired up on game days. We're all fired up throughout the week. You know, I love, uh, I love the way our staff can help you out in a personal way. They can help you out in so many ways, and they take the time out of their day to, uh, you know, to just help you and just, just guide you throughout your high school experience. You know, I, I just love the atmosphere around Walker Valley. You know, it's it's just a fun place to be and go to school. You know, I, I'm not really the type of person who likes going to school, but you know, I look forward. <laughs> I look forward to days going to school, and especially on game day, the atmosphere is incredible. You know, it, we're all hyped up, ready to play, ready to win, just like we're about to do tomorrow. That's you know, right. It's, it's going to be a great day tomorrow. You've already named one of your sleepers, Logan Stutzman. You, do y'all have anybody else y'all think? Give me a sleeper. Well, both of our cornerbacks are underrated, I think. We had Jay Sean out and Logan stepping in. And Raekwon Don, I've talked about him also. Um, nobody works harder than that guy. I'm in the weight room with him every day. And he grinds it out more than anybody else I've ever seen, especially anybody on that Walker Rally team. I mean, they're fast, but they don't know hard work like these Cleveland boys do. And that's a big reason why we're going to come up with that W tomorrow instead of them hard work. I think uh, Chase Oliver, he's not necessarily, I wouldn't call him a sleeper. I just mm -hmm. think he's kind of flew under the radar. He's had two two interceptions. Two pick sixes. Two pick sixes. Two pick sixes. I think three interceptions and two pick sixes. Mm -hmm. And he's played great all year long. And I talked oh, yeah. to him after every single football game, and he takes it to heart. And he wants to win just as badly as anybody, and I think he's going to do whatever it takes. Oh, come on. All of, Oliver belongs out on the golf course, Alan. You know it. He's not a football player. He's a golfer. I do know that he's <laughs> going to shut. He's going no, to I'm shut. joking. I like Chase. I, he's going to shut Chase. Alex King down. Hey, no, there's no the way. I he's going to shut I love down. Chase down. I've seen it, and I've seen it, and I've seen it. He has <laughs> shut offenses down, and he's going to do it again tomorrow. We, play, we played Little League Baseball together, but I love Chase. Can't say anything bad about him. Yeah. Um, I personally, want... I think, you know, Logan Manning, sleeper. Sleeper Logan on Manning's the defensive side of the ball. Grayson Roundtree, also a sleeper. You know, defense, Cody offense. Cody Dugan. Cody Dugan, great player, great hustle. He, he's got a great mind ethic and worth that ethic that he has. What position is he playing? Uh, he's playing middle linebacker, sir. Dugan switches around, too. He's a utility player, too. Yeah, he was on the line against Bradley, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah good player. Hard work. Hey, he works so hard. He's in the weight room working hard. You know, I, I'm going to not say Isaiah is a sleeper pick, but Isaiah is going to be so effective.
from the defensive side. The man might control the whole defense tomorrow night. They better, all I'm going to say is Cleveland better be able to bust it out because Big 32 is going to be breaking crap up in the middle. Isaiah Austin is going to tear it up tomorrow. He's going to have the best game of his life tomorrow night. I'm calling it. You know, personally, I, I look at Alex King as a young high school Jalen Hurts. That's exactly type of right. Thing. You know, he's got the build of You're him. You're comparing not, Alex King to Jalen Hurts. He could you be know, better. He, he could I'm, be better I'm, than I'm, than right, Alex King with Jalen Oh, Hurt. most definitely. He's got most the definitely. power. He's got the power and the speed right. that Jalen Hurts has. He is shorter than Jalen Hurts. He's too. He's, he's shorter you know, than Jalen Hurd, but you know he's got a good when, build and he's powerful. When I hear <laughs> like this, it really proves the point about Walker Valley's low test scores. I don't know. If Let me tell you. Oh my goodness, we're going to test scores with me. Let me tell you something. When I hear stuff like that, I'm like, oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad I go to Cleveland High School. That's what I think. Hey. Hey, listen. Walker no. Valley has some good dancers on their team, though. Nathan Zaukis, man. What do you think oh, about man. Oh, Let me tell you that something about on that beat. Zaukis is a stud. A hey, the man has one of the coolest chains I've ever seen in my life. He's always ripping that chain. Zaukis is a great godly man, and he's a great influence for everybody. And the man can throw down on the beats. So okay, man. so with y'all t- bringing up the score from last year, 34-0, y'all saying playoffs, you know, y'all talk about your sleeper picks, things like that. What effect do y'all think that will have on the game tomorrow? Last year's game? Y'all super picks, what do you think they'll do tomorrow? Well, I think Chase, if we talk about Chase, I think Chase is going to shut their offense down. He's going to shut down the run pass what? I think think he's going to shut down the run. He's going to take care of what he needs to do. I've never met anybody that's more passionate about the I game. saw his tweet. He said something about, you know, Raider Nation, this will never happen again or something. No, he can't passionate. cover our athletes. Come on, Caleb. And he can't cover our athletes, Caleb. We've got too many of them. You know, too many I of love them. all the guys on Walker Valley's team. Went to middle school with them. Tremendous respect for every single player, but Chase is going to shut him down tomorrow. There's no way. Logan Stutzman, what do you think about that? Think he's going to shut down the pass? Logan Stutzman is a. He's near a freak of nature. He's a big kid playing corner, and. Um, I think he and he's a triplet. Yeah, he is a triplet. That's special. <laughs> he um, he is a big physical guy on the corner, and um, I think he can do some great things. Let me tell you something. Super athletes, Cooper Melton. The man is Odell Beckham. Look at him. All these catches like this. The man can do it all. Cooper is a stud. Cooper is going to catch so many TDs tomorrow. It's going to be insane. You know, honestly, you know, I think our offensive line comes to play tomorrow. You know, we haven't been able to show up and, you know, have that great blocking game and Colton's just getting hit and, you know, that's not a good thing. You know, I think they come up to play tomorrow and, you know, they got a lot of energy. So are you dissing line. your offensive line? I'm not yeah. dissing our they're, offensive line. Our I'm offensive saying, line, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm no, I'm saying I they're respect elite. Our line. Listen, I would respect their offensive listen, line. Listen, our O line is a good offensive line. We've made a couple mistakes, but all in all, I would put our offensive line against Cleveland's D line any day of the week. They're going to eat some cornbread tomorrow. I can't, can't wait. I can't wait to see Chris Ogle just go oh, face Ogle's, first into the ground. Ogle's an athlete. Night. That's Ogle's what an I'm athlete. saying. Ogle is an athlete. T and his weird haircut. Oh, can my goodness. Go I like somewhere. his haircut. And his Tacoma. It's a nice truck. Okay, so, you know, y'all been talking about scoring and stuff. I've got my score prediction for the night. I have Cleveland winning it 34-31. Oh, what do you think about that? Him. You know, I agree with it. We've got a kicker that can just... Boot the ball. So <laughs> I agree. Fantastic. Go Mustangs! Come to the crowd tonight or tomorrow night. Watch the Mustangs beat up on some Blue Raiders. Go Stang Nation, baby. Raider God bless Nation, and go baby. Stangs. No, Raider hey, die. No way. We're running the town of Cleveland tomorrow night. That's all for Beyond the Game. Follow us on Twitter at Beyond the Game and tune in next time for Beyond the Game. Thanks for watching. Go Raiders. Go Raiders. Go Stangs. <laughs>